got Alan Wright here from Power High High Equip, one of the largest generator high companies in New Zealand and suppliers. And today we're doing a fuel test, emissions test on a 900 kVA standby generator set which is housed in a 20 foot ISO container for ease of shifting around. We're doing a fuel emission test on the generator and then we're going to add some um, additives in there and give it a run. I've always been a wee bit sceptical about fuel additives, oil additives etc. Um, there, so we'll see what comes of it. Hi, welcome to the Office of K2 Environmental today. I'm Joy, I'm an environmental technician and I also do some of the lab work around here. Normally what we do is we go to industrial sites and do testing for resource consents to find out the amount of particulate matter that's being put out of stacks but we've been out just recently to test a diesel power generator before and after it's had the fuel additive Chonko in the system to see if there are any difference in it. We know the filter weights before they've been through the oven and dried and we know the filter weights after so we know how much is on the filter, how many milligrams and then we know how much gas we pulled out of the stack so we can give a result as to how many milligrams are coming out for every metre cubed of air that comes out of the stack. We've come back from the lab and we've got the results uh, from the particulate matter testing now. Um, it's standard practice with resource consents to correct the data to 12% carbon dioxide. This is just to uh, make sure all the results have a level playing field that you can actually compare them under different conditions. Um, so the results for but the generator before Chonko was added with 57 milligrams per meter cubed and after Chonko was added to the diesel generator we got a result of 21 milligrams per meter cubed. So by adding the Chonko we've gone from 57 to 21 milligrams per meter cubed of total suspended particulate emissions which is a 63% reduction in the emissions. Alan here, um, back at Power Hire again. Initially when they first introduced the product to us and asked us if we'd try it and test it, um, I felt if we got anything like about 3 or 4 percent we're on a win. Um, not the results that they've got which are up around about 60 percent decrease in emissions, um, which is pretty staggering. We were still a wee bit sceptical on this and we decided to do some testing ourselves and um, we have the we generator sets behind us where we added some of the Chonko additive into it and um, after about eight hours running we did a load test on the machine and found that we'd got about 14 percent extra power out of it. Um, no adjustments to the machine at all apart from the additive. Um, we thought this could have been just a wee bit coincidental so we grabbed one of our other machines and did a load test prior to putting the Chonko product in it. Um, took the readings off it and added the Chonko product, run it for about another 10 hours when it went out on hire. Come back, did another load test and once again about 14% increase um, in power. We tried it in our vehicles as well. Um, we didn't notice too much happening in the vehicles when we put it in. Probably it was a slow change, I suppose. Um, but then we tried not putting it in the vehicles and pretty much instantly um, notice a, a, a lack in performance. So vehicles quickly come back and, and we added the additive into it <laughs> and probably intend to keep running it in there now. Um, so uh, I was cynical, didn't believe it would work, but this stuff, yes, I'm um, definitely hooked on it and, and we find that it does work um, through practical tests. You know, with the um, results that they come back from the laboratory testing um, that they did on the emissions and that, the results they got, they were staggering. In the Canterbury area, um, we always get penalised on emissions, um, especially a lot of our customers that have generator sets. They run them during peak demand periods to try and alleviate power problems. Um, they're told that they can only do so many running hours because of the emission content coming out and um, by reducing that emission 
they can get a lot more running hours out of them and probably more payback for themselves. I haven't had any feedback from the clients as yet. Um, we've given the product to three, three of our clients to um, try, um, but like us, they're probably skeptical too, and um, it'll take a wee bit of time. Um, but I'm sure that they will come back with um, similar stories to mine, where they're, um, where they're quite impressed with it as well.